This video demonstrates how to initiate a change request for users assign the role of change initiator. First we select add, then change, create change request. Up comes the create change request form where we fill out the various properties such as description. For the description we want to include the object name and the change taking place. For this change request we have a part that's called part 567 and it requires the length dimension to be changed from 1 mm to 0.5 mm. So in the description field we enter change to part 567. Modify length dimension from 1 mm to 0.5 mm. The next property we want to set is reason for change. In this case it's a customer request. And we now set the change coordinator. The system displays the available users for change coordinator. I select one and click OK. The category of change is next to be set. We will set that to product improvement and the severity set to medium. Click OK and that change object has been created. The next step, step 2, is to add reference documents. From the category menu we select referential then add existing from the actions drop down list. We have an existing file that documents the change. And once selected, it is added to the change request. Now we can go back and take a look at the change request we just created and all its properties. Under My Changes we select the Change Request tab. To be able to see the complete list of change requests we select the Expand button. The last one on the list is the one that we just created. After selecting the Change Request, we select the Change Request link in the Category menu to view its properties. Let's take a moment to view all areas of this change request object. We see all the properties under the Properties tab and under the Life Cycle tab we see that the life cycle is in the Create state. This information is also shown in the ECR Summary area at the top. Also shown is the reference document we attached. We can also edit the properties at this stage by clicking the edit icon. Let's say for example that we need to change the change coordinator because we find out that someone else will be handling the request. We select that person and click done to update the properties. Now the change request object has been updated. The third step, step 3 is validating and promoting the ECR. Here we have the validate icon that we select first. Then we click the top header to validate all the rules shown. The checks are performed and we see that it's a pass for all of them. Now we're ready to promote the engineering change request. Click Promote and we see that it's in the Evaluate state. In summary, this video showed how a change initiator creates a change request object, adds a reference document to the ECR for clarification of the change, and then validates and promotes the ECR to the next lifecycle state.